Grab and run, run, run. To the nearest shrink, this guy's life is more messed up than the 2000 presidential election. <laughs> and suddenly, the witch jumped out and grabbed him. Uh, ah! Wait a minute, that's not how it happened. The witch thought he was a prowler and tapped him on the shoulder. Ah! If she thought he was a prowler, then why didn't she call the police? This is a fairy tale. There are no police. You call yourself a narrator. <laughs> oh, why? Well, however it happened, the witch caught him stealing. What are you doing? Please, my wife, pregnant. Don't put a spell on me. <laughs> why would I want to put a spell on you? You're my neighbor, right? Your wife's pregnant? Yes, and she, she says if she doesn't have one of your radishes, she'll die. Then why didn't you just ask me? I would have given them to you. Oh, well, may I have some? On one condition. You give me your first child. So the man agreed. Hang on, that is not right. Well, that's what she said. Yeah, but everyone always cuts off her speech. There was more to that statement. As a boy student, I've always wanted to teach someone to sing. <laughs> See? Good grief. So the man agreed with the wish and brought the radishes back home to his wife. When his wife had their beautiful baby, they named her Rapunzel. And as promised, the, witch, the father took Rapunzel to the witch for singing lessons. Oh, really? Then how do you explain the parents never seeing Rapunzel again? I was getting to that. Well, on their way home, Rapunzel's mother decided to stop off for some chicken. Unfortunately, she choked on the chicken bone and died. Well. Rapunzel. 
That's it. Off I go to find her. <laughs>